Here's a transformer we're going to use in class to provide power. Sometimes I label it. This one is not labeled. If you look very carefully, it says 4.5 volts. This is just enough to power our LEDs and not burn out anything. What's happened is the wires um, were lost or they got disconnected. I'm going to use morettes and wire nuts to connect them so that we could connect them into the board. Here's the wires. I'm going to use a wire stripper to allow enough of the meshed wire to be exposed. First I'll take some of the insulation off from the two wires. I want just a little bit more wires to work with. So here goes. I'm just pressing kind of lightly and I pulled and there you go. Now I've got a little bit more to work with. I'm going to strip some plastic off the red wire. Uh, I'm gently putting pressure on it until I feel the red plastic giving way and I end up with this. So I've got enough to work with a, a red solid core wire and I have enough to work with a black solid core wire. The fact that they're not equal can be good because it prevents them from shorting out. So the red wire can't really touch the black wire. That can be good at times. I'm going to get a marette and show you how to connect the solid core wire. Here's a red solid core wire. I'm going to wrap the meshed wire around the solid core wire. Here I'm adjusting the length a little bit. That's a fair, fair length. I think I'll go with that. I will wrap it up. There's the two wires. Let me wrap them up. There you go. I'm going to bend the wire so that the spring from the marette can grab onto it. This is a marette. Notice it's got like a kind of like a spring in it. It'll catch on the wire and provide insulation and keep the wires together. There's the wire. There's the marette. Um, you spin and what you try and do is you're trying to get the wire to catch on to the spring inside. I'm going to pull fairly hard and I'm trying to pull it off. It's pretty okay. They usually stay on for quite a while unless you really um, pull on them a lot. Let's do the black wire. I'm going to strip off a bit of the plastic. There it is. I'm going to get the meshed wire. Sometimes I hear it, um, people say braided. The fact is there's a whole bunch of wires all together. Once again, I've got that. The marette can't really catch on to that very well. So by hand, I'm going to twist it. There it is. Now I'm going to try putting a marette on it. Once again, there's the marette. There's the spring. Here it goes. You can kind of feel that's going on. I think it's got it. You, you kind of feel it tightening. And I'm going to gently pull. Bingo. Now I've got the solid core wire. There it is. And I'm going to cut it to a reasonable length. And once again I'm going to make them uneven so they don't touch each other and short out. There's my black wire. I didn't uh, do it too much. Now let's look at the length. Um, there's the wires here. I'm going to put and cut it around here so that when they're resting, hopefully they don't touch in short circuit because that's really bad for the transformer. I'm going to cut it there and gently uh, apply pressure and pull up and there you go that's very nice so now we have this transformer which if you can recall at the beginning I told you was 
4.5 volts. It can handle 1,000 milliamps. There's the two stranded wires. At the beginning now, they're, they're going through morettes. And at the end of it, we have a connector for the black and a connector for the positive. That's how you rewire your transformer to use with your breadboards.